morning, thanks for joining me. I hope everybody's well today. Today I have a Marks and Spencer haul and try on for you. It's pretty much some basic bits. I went to Exeter uh, with my friend Kirsten last Monday and we had a wander around Marks and Spencer's as we always do when we go shopping. And I saw some nice bits that I quite liked the look of. As I say, quite basics. We've got some jeans, we've got a pair of white trousers, a couple of tops and a sort of casual dress. Before we get stuck into it though, first of all apologies if I sound bunged up. I am bunged up, the hay fever struggle. Despite the fact we've had almost no spring to speak of, the hay fever struggle is quite bad at the moment in this house. <laughs> I'm really struggling with it. Um, I've got my air purifier just down here. Um, which is helping overnight, but uh, I try to keep it turned off in the day because I'm not in this room most of the time. Anyway, you don't want to know about my hay fever, do you? <laughs> um, right, for anybody new around here, I am five foot three tall, so I struggle a bit in terms of lengths of things sometimes. I'm quite high waisted. Um, I take about a size 20 UK on the bottom and a 22, 24 on the top generally, depending on the brands, because as we all know, sizing varies massively between brands and sometimes also within brands, doesn't it? Right, all that, oh, oh, the other thing I must say is I will link everything in the description box below and for anybody who doesn't know where the description is, box is or can't find it, I will also put all the links to all the items in the pinned comment at the top so just go to the top of the comment section where all the comments are and there will be a comment in there by me with all the um, links for you right all that having been said let's get into it right first item is this dress i saw this in store and i really quite liked it it's quite short the style is a little bit like the um dress that i tried on which was a sea salt dress, which I didn't love, and you guys all really liked, or most of you really liked, um, a little while ago. That was in a last, my last Marks and Spencer haul, I think. Um, I thought this would be a nice dress for, you could either wear it as a beach cover-up, or you could pop it on with, um, I think it would be, yeah, it's just below knee, knee length on me, I reckon, or round knee length. Um, or you could wear it with trainers for a casual evening out or um, sandals. I think it's just a really nice dress that would be useful for a lot of things. It's, I wanted to say flexible, but I don't mean that word. There's some, some other word that, that my antihistamine hay fever adult brain won't bring to mind right now. But I really like the fabric. It's a lightweight linen. It's 55% linen blend. Um, so hopefully it's got viscose in it as well. So hopefully it won't crease, but it has got that nice cool feel. Um, it feels nice quality. It's got a little pinstripe in it as well. And I just thought this had distinct possibilities. Also, I like the colour. Um, I don't know if it's got a price on it. £39.50 this one. So not the cheapest, but it has got the linen content. And um, as I said, I think it's quite, a, um, I'm wanting to say flexible, but I don't mean flexible at all. I'll just try it. I think I quite like this one. I've just popped it on with some white trainers. Um, the only thing about it is it does show my knees. Um, I'm not a fan of my knees. You can, it, because of the angle I have the camera, you can't. It, it looks as though it sits lower than it does. But I'm looking at it straight on, and um, it's definitely showing my knees. But I, I can probably live with that for a casual dress with of this type. God, I need some tan on my legs. They look so pale. Um, I really like the sleeves. They're a, they've got an elastic in them, but they're a three quarter sleeve, which is lovely for me. And they've got this little. Um, sort of pleat detail on on the sleeve as well which I like. Um, there's a weird lumpy bit in mine here which I think is probably just a sewing issue um, but you don't really want a sewing issue when something's £40 do you? Um, it, it doesn't look so bad from far away but it definitely does sit can you see that? It's it's sort of a lump that doesn't sit flat. I, I will try giving it an iron um, Actually, I've maybe I've folded it now and it sits a little bit flatter. But I do really like this. I feel like it's a nice flattering shape, nice and loose for the hot weather if we ever get any. And um, yeah, I, th I think as a dress, I, I do quite like this one. Next item is these jeans. Glasses on. They are called the Harper Super Soft 
cigarette high rise i got them in a 20 short um i'm hoping they will fit they feel soft they've they've got this sort of raw edge on the hem which i really like the turn up hem they've got a raw edge um and yeah they feel they feel soft they feel fairly lightweight they've got some nice stretch in them which of course makes them comfy doesn't it they were 32.50 and then i'm going to try them with this top that i also got in store this feels so nice this is what they call their popover blouses i think so nice and easy sort of loose fitted it's got a collar which gives it a little bit more dressiness i guess in a casual way it feels lovely it's got a little bit of stretch in this fabric but it's sort of a matte satin if that makes sense i got this in a 22 i normally did i say i got the dress in a 24 i can't remember but the dress i just showed you i got in a 24 um i, I would have ordered this in a 24 but it wasn't available i don't think at the time that i ordered so um, it does look plenty big enough actually it's one of those sort of loose fit oversized type things that are quite forgiving so let's try these on oh i like this outfit the, i got the jeans in a short as i said and they are perfect lengthwise they sit about three inches above my ankle and that is just perfect for me it's, it's definitely a crop sometimes with crop jeans when they don't come in a short length or petite sizing I find that they're full length on me and that just doesn't work. They feel super comfortable, they've got that lovely stretchy factor, they're not too heavy weight so they're perfect for sort of spring and into summer. Um, I'll show you what they look like on the tummy although I don't like bearing the stomach on the internet and that's what they look like on the bum. Um, yeah, I think these are a definite keeper. I also love the colour. The colour was the exact shade that I've been looking for a pair of crop jeans in. I've got some darker ones, but I didn't want the very light, almost bleached denim, you know. I just wanted this sort of pale, washed sort of denim. This is just perfect. Um, also with the top, I like the top a lot. Um, I'm so glad they didn't have a 24 because I feel like a 24 would have been way too big in this. I think this is just the perfect size loose fit without being too, um, you know, oversized. I love the colour. I think the colour's great. Um, I like the collar detail. I've always been a person who doesn't like collars, but as I get older, I'm feeling that collars give us a little bit more or give me a little bit more just sense of being a little bit smarter so perhaps i'm coming round to collars in my old age it, i've got a black cami on underneath so apologies if you can see that through there but um yeah i think this outfit is going to be a keeper i really like this one now this next item was something that caught my eye in store this color is so gorgeous i don't know how i think the camera's bleaching it out a little bit I step back perhaps it's just this gorgeous fresh spring green color I really like it. I thought it would be nice with these jeans. Um, it's a little bit more of a blouse than a top that, that compared with this one. It's got the collar and the button front and then a couple of pocket details on the front. But essentially the same shape. It's got this sort of grown on the sleeve. Um, I did get this one in a 24 and I'm wondering if I would have been better with a 22. But just that colour. So glorious. Let's try it. Okay, we have thoughts on this one. Um, I love the colour, I will never stop liking the colour. I don't like the shape as much as I did on the pink blouse. The fabric is a little stiffer and I feel it might be a sizing issue as well. Um, definitely it's quite, it's sort of a triangle shape this, isn't it? Um, I think the way the sleeves are cut is not particularly complimentary at all. Um, if you look down that sleeve, the black is my cami top. Now, imagine wearing this without something underneath it. You get a huge view of your bra and all your fat round your side, if you have fat round your side, which isn't nice. That sleeve hole is way too big, but I don't know if it's just the fabric or for that reason, I, I wouldn't keep it. I love the color, but also, but however, it might be a sizing issue, of course, because I've um, sized, because I've got a 24. If you get a 22 or a 20, perhaps it would be slightly different, but I just feel like the whole area of the sleeve is not particularly, I'm, I'm groping for words today, I really am. 
doesn't do, just doesn't particularly you know give, do me any favors someone tell me that word i can't think what it is it's really annoying me um yeah so this one disappointingly because the color is gorgeous is going to be a no um i am going to look out for other things in this color though because this color is just a bit of me final item for today's haul is this pair of white chinos um not much to say about them though really they're a pair of white chinos they are in a i got them in a size 20 short again so i'm hoping that the fit will be as good as these jeans um and I got these specifically to wear with, in fact, I'll put the things on with them that I got them specifically to wear with. Not sure if all those words are in the right order, but we'll see. What were we saying about sizing between or within brands earlier on? These are a little snug. I like the length, the length is perfect. They're not too tight on the legs. Sometimes I find that when you buy, are buying stuff from a mainstream brand as opposed to a plus size brand, they're not generously cut on the legs. These are fine on the legs. Um, the waist, however, as you can see probably, is pretty snug. You wouldn't want to be any um, fatter than I am. Um, they look all right on the bum, I think. But this was the outfit I bought them to go with. I wanted to wear white underneath and this fabulous kimono. I've bought, bought a selection of kimonos recently, as you know. Um, this is the one I had in mind for this particular outfit. Um, I, th I think it looks fab. I feel really nice in it. And it's such a nice lightweight way, because these fold up to nothing, to jazz up a pair of trousers and essentially a t-shirt, just got a white t-shirt on underneath um, for an evening out on holiday. So um, right, I, th I think I'm going to keep these. I am losing a little bit of weight at the moment, so hopefully they'll spur me on to lose a little more. Um, fingers crossed. <laughs> so um, we shall see. Um, anyway, that is today's haul. I'll link this kimono and also this white top as well. Um, as well in the description box for anybody who's interested in those. Um, but yeah, overall, quite a successful haul. The green top's going back, and I think the pink dress is going back, although I may repurchase that. Um, it, I'm, I'm going to go into store and look at the... Um, the sewing on the collar because that will annoy me I know if I spend 39 pounds on that and the collar the sewing's not quite right it will annoy me so I'm not saying never I did like the dress but I just I want it to be perfect if I'm going to um buy one so anyway if you enjoyed this thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye bye